Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have got our BoxyCharm video. I have most of my makeup done but I left room for all the products in this month's box. We are going to do our spoilers right after we play our intro. So, um, for June spoilers, there's going to be the Boxy Lux and the regular Boxy Charm. So, what we've got first is the regular Boxy Charm, as of right now, is going to have a limited edition Tarte eyeshadow palette. <clears throat> it's going to have the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence. I guess that's just a new primer. Maybe it's like a moisturizer. Uh, that'll be in Boxy Charm and Boxy Lux. If you picked the palette when you did your customization, that'll be in your Boxy Lux as well. Um, we'll get to that in a second. And also Dominique Cosmetics lip product. Um, and in the video, they also said, even bigger spoiler alert, there'll be an Elemis product in the July box. So that's two months from now. Um, for the Boxy Lux, so far we have got either one of these Tarte Pro Glow palettes, either the blush or the glow or the eyeshadow that will be in there for sure. <sighs> Let me see if I can find the rest of your Boxy Lux spoilers. I know there's been a few more, but for some reason my sources aren't showing all of them. Here we go. So we've got the Living Proof, either the Dry Volume Mist or the Thickening Cream. Personally, I'm hoping for the mist. Uh, there's going to be a hair dryer, which is super cute. I think this is the same brand that we got the straightener from a while back. Uh, Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. One of the two Tarte palettes, depending on what you picked. And then Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic Cleanser, which sounds amazing. But... I have a cleanser I'm more excited about. So those are your spoilers. If that's all you wanted from me, haters, you can go ahead and leave me now. But now we're going to go ahead and try our products for this month. So <clears throat> I got variation number one, and this is the Make Waves box. The first thing I got, I don't even know if it works good, but God, I'm so excited. I got the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. Um, first of all, packaging is gorgeous. This is so pretty. It's huge. I have big hands, and it's bigger than my hand. And I can't wait <clears throat> to start using it. I haven't started using it. I wanted to wait till after I finished the video so it wouldn't be all like wet and gross from being in the shower. But yeah, I'm excited about that. I've heard it's really good for, I think, oily skin. But I think it's okay for dry skin, too. I have oily skin. So if someone comments, if you want to know, I'll let you know how it interacts with my skin. <clears throat> and it retails for $28. All right. We've got that out of the way. And then next. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to bring a brush over here for this. Of course I did. Next, we've got the... Alamar Cosmetics Color It Blush Trio. I was really hoping for Rana Del Parry Bay Volume 2. Can't get everything we want, but they did send me the correct colors. This is the Light Fair Palette. I'm thinking I'm going to be a little more interested in this center shade. I'm not really a coral blush kind of person. So we're going to try Periso. It's got Castaway and Scorcher as well. Let me go grab my blush brush and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's to hoping this isn't crazy pigmented and seeing if we're going to replace that Laura Geller blush. So I'm going to pick up this center shade on my brush, a little bit of fallout, not too bad, and just brush it on here. I've already got all my bronzer and highlight, so I just need this little bit of rosy cheek to finish her off. And it doesn't look too pigmented, but it's still there. I always put my blush just like right on the apples of my cheeks right here. I do bronzer, blush, highlight. So I don't drag mine over most days. That was a lot of noise. But I do like this. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, so that's cool. And that retails for $22. So the next thing we're going to do, and I'm really going to regret this because I'm probably going to destroy my whole entire makeup. 
but we'll see. <clears throat> I'm going to take, this is a Bodyography Emerald Eye Pencil. Uh, Emerald is green. Retails for $14. Here is the color of it. And I did already try to do this in my waterline. Doesn't work. So what we're going to do is put this on the lower lash line and try to smudge it out. And we're going to zoom in so y'all can watch this impending failure. So we are just going to put it here. I know, raccoon eyes, what am I doing? To be honest, I don't know. And I'm going to take a little flat brush and just try to smoke it out, buff it out a little bit. <clears throat> so that it looks a little more like I just put shadow in my lower lash line. I'm sure this works great for eyeliner, but I despise pencil liners for the actual lid. I only like them for the waterline. It doesn't work for that. Already tried it. It's too firm for the waterline. But that actually didn't look half bad on that eye. So we're going to try to mimic that over here if we can. Y'all know this is my my uh, dumb side, my wrinkly side. Makeup never looks as good on this eye. Whatever. And I'm just going to go ahead and smoke it out over here too. And it actually doesn't look too bad doing it like this. And maybe this will stay better than eyeshadow usually does. Definitely doesn't look as crazy as eyeshadow because it blended out a lot lighter. So, my next thing is eyeshadow as well to finish off my lid. If you notice, I didn't put anything here. Um, what I did was I took the new Creative uh, Makeup Revolution palette. It's like really colorful, but I just put some oranges and then some purple in here because there was no brown. So we're improvising. I'm about to go work at a bar. It doesn't really matter what my makeup looks like. Everyone will be drunk and I'll be pretty by 8 o'clock anyways. So, we're going to take our next product, which is the Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Shadow in the color Cupid. It looks purple-ish, but it's not. Also retails for $22. A little bit pricey. Probably would never buy one at full price, but I did swatch it the other day and it is gorgeous. So, we are just going to take it straight off the applicator and put it onto the lid like so and also drag it down into this inner corner and we're gonna wait for it to dry because if I don't it's gonna crease and I know it's gonna crease and I'm talking to you with my eyes closed but y'all will be fine so we're just gonna do that and I'm gonna drag this out because I got a little clump of it right here that is not gonna look cute soon but that is how that looks. Let's add a little more right here so we can blend it together. With these, some people like to blend out the edges. Personally, I don't. I love to keep that really heavy metallic look with mine. Um, that's just a personal preference. Everybody feels different. I also like to keep the cut crease effect. That's why I don't blend out the edges before y'all come for me and tell me that I'm doing my makeup wrong. There is no wrong in makeup, guys. <laughs> Never forget that. I do my makeup how I feel looks best, and for me, I love that harsh edge and really thick. That's just my favorite. So, let's apply this over here since that eye should be maybe not dry, but pretty close. And these are just so easy. If you do want a harsh cut crease, you just have to draw it out just how you want it. Be sure you draw it out high enough. If you have hooded eyes like me, you have to draw it up a little bit higher. But you get a lot more control with these than you would doing a standard cut crease. <clears throat> so I'm going to drag, <clears throat> God, my throat, sorry guys. Dragging in that outer corner. Dragging up. And now making sure they're even. I definitely, <clears throat> God bless it. I got more over here than I did over here. So we're going to pull this side up a little more to make them match. And this does have, I don't know if you would call this holographic per se, but it does have a shift to it that is 
for sure. And also, as you apply more, the other kind of disappears. So just a heads up there. Don't try to go over it a million times. So you're going to defeat your whole purpose. But it is so pretty, super reflective. The only place I might blend out is on this edge over here. Uh, just because that looks a little much. Um, but other than that, this is gorgeous. I just got it over a little too far on one side. But yeah, this is super pretty. So what I do to fix that is just take a brush. You don't even have to have a color on it and just kind of dab at it and that'll take away a little bit of that metallic effect um it'll make it not so noticeable if you did screw up a little bit and you can always go back if it's your dark color and just touch up over it which i might do before work i don't know we'll see um but let me go ahead and do my eyeliner and my mascara and then i'll be back with our final product okay so the eyes are finished and it's time for our final product. This I was super excited about. We got a Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. I do know I really like this formula. It's not like my favorite in the whole world, but it's really good. Um, the colors are nice. Packaging is sleek, easy to carry. And I got a really nice nude. This is called Lazy Daisy. I'm going to apply it. And you're probably going to notice um, it's kind of the same color my lips are already. But that's okay. That's always good for uh, just getting yourself a little more definition, a little more color. If you want to overdraw without being too dramatic. I'm going to shut up and put on the lipstick now. Okay. So it's not like exactly the color of my lips, but it's just a little bit darker which is actually really nice. So that's all the products in this month's box. Um, in my opinion, I thought this was a pretty solid box. The only thing in here I may not use is that green eyeliner. If it would go on the waterline, I'd actually be super excited about it. I'm trying to figure out a way to like warm it up and make it work a little better. No luck yet, but we'll see. I'm trying new things. Uh, but I love this liquid eyeshadow the lippy is amazing i'll wear it all the time the blush looks pretty good i don't know how much you saw get out of all three colors but it's nice um the cleanser super good i hope we're gonna see always need a new cleanser however i wish they didn't send so many cleansers we don't need skincare like that much i mean one good cleanser should last you at least a couple months right but <clears throat> Anyways, uh, that is it for this month's box. I am so sorry. We're not filming as much. Um, I'm really going to try to get it together. I have a brand that I'm working with that is releasing a whole makeup line, and hopefully I'll be able to share them with you guys very soon. Uh, their stuff's incredible, so I can't wait to go ahead and get it filmed. And I'm working on working less hours at my in-person jobs so I can put a little more attention here. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what box you got down in the description, what you liked, what you didn't, and what you hope to see in the future, and how you feel about those spoilers I gave you at the beginning. Also, let me know if y'all like me to like separate these videos up. Like if the spoilers get on your nerves, or if you just want a video of spoilers. I shifted them to the beginning so that you don't have to watch the whole thing. But uh, you know, just let me know how y'all feel. This content is for y'all, not for me. So yeah. I uh, guess I will see you in our next video. Bye, you guys.